Welcome back, friends. Lost Scarf here, and it's time for a quick overview of forts. So the nine commanders have now been released, and the game comes out very soon. So I'm just doing a quick uh, just overview of what the nine commanders are today, just like a one or two minutes just to tell you about them. And then coming up, either every day or every other day, will be collaborative videos with me, Fraz, and Killer Bits, and maybe others, showing off these different commanders as we play. So just showing them really quick who they are. These are the different commanders. So the ones we already know are Architect, where you, of course you get cheaper structures, higher storage capacity, four times device, weapon, and structure build speed. Very nice to get things going very quickly. She's good for that. Eagle Eye, of course, as you know, sniper, laser sights, better aiming in magazine. When he's active, he's got explosive rounds, which is just really good. Just have a bunch of gunners doing explosive rounds. That does a lot of damage. Very useful. It's a solid commander to have. And then there's Armadillo, of course, the very much a turtle, cheaper armor and shield, fast doors, he just turtles up all the time. Only way to really hurt him is just break that metal or to, of course, shoot him when his doors are open. Active, fast, half cost repair. Really nice. He just can stay alive very long. He's a pain in the butt to take out. In the collab, we're going to see first Overdrive. Overdrive has instant upgrades and his active is boost production, two times device and weapon build speed, which is really, really nice. If you have a lot of production and you just need even more, use this and you'll get boosted up. You'll just have, you'll get full really quick. It'll help you out. If there's not a lot of production, this will at least give you a boost. You have a better position with that. Overdrive is really good at just sticking around because of that. Then we're going to see Firebird. Firebird is my favorite so far. They have one very glaring weakness, but their passive is large incendiary effect, slower fire spread, and their active is all weapons are incendiary. So give a bunch of gunners incendiary rounds, it's amazing. The weakness, of course, is if they're fighting metal, they're not going to be as effective. That's probably what makes Eagle Eye better is because explosive rounds can get through metal, while fire cannot. So Firebird's all about the early game for sure. Then there's going to be Pinch Fist. Now Pinch Fist is cheap repair, better reclaiming collectors, and his active is half cost firing. So get a bunch of weapons, turn this on, and just fire a bunch of things. You get cannons and lasers, that's going to be very helpful because it's not going to cost as much. Then we will see Spook. Now, Spook is really cool. I like Spook probably the most besides Firebird. Spook is you can hide your damn enemy, can't see what they're doing to you, and see enemy resources. So if you see them just drop a bunch of resources all of a sudden, you know a cannon's coming or a laser's coming. You know something is being built. So that's really nice right there. And your actives, you can see inside the enemy fort and steal resources. So you can take some of the resources away from them, maybe stop them from being able to shoot you with a big weapon at a crucial time, and also just being able to see where all their weapons are and where the this is where their batteries are. Also, at all times, you already know where the enemy uh, reactor is. So Spook is really useful. There's a lot you can learn from Spook. Warthog is the late game guy. He's all he's got better aiming, faster reload for heavy weapons. His active is 25% increased damage to heavy weapons. So he's all about the late game because early game, of course, isn't heavy weapons. But once you get those heavies, you can do some really good damage. I'm talking like give the cannon 25% more. Oh, my God. Give the laser 25% more. That laser is going through everything in the enemy base. It's really nice, but you gotta get there first. That's the hard part. And lastly is Hurricane. Faster build, faster repair, fast reload. He's all about fast things. His one limit I feel is that if you're on a map with very little resources, he's not gonna serve him very well because he'll be capped by resources. This is a guy you want on a map that has a ton of resource skills. He'll just build quickly to them, get a bunch of mines up, get a bunch of uh, uh, generators up. And with that, he'll be able to just quickly just dispatch the enemy because he can just build a big base, build a bunch of units really quick. That'd be really nice. And then, well, he can do whatever he wants. But his weakness is if the map is starved of resources, he ain't going to be all that effective compared to the others. So that right there is just a quick overview of everything. Coming up will be the Overdrive video. Then you'll see Firebird. Then you will see Pinch Fist. Then I believe it's Spook and then Warthog. And then I'm not sure who else is going to come up after, but we're going to do at least a video for all nine of them just to show them off in collaborative efforts for the most part if we can because i think it's more fun with collab to do it than just me showing them off on my own so you can just see what a bunch of people frantically can do with it than just one person so there you go that is just a quick overview of the nine commanders uh forts comes out i think tomorrow so have fun with it if you're gonna buy it and have fun watching these videos you're gonna watch them so that right there is the video i had fun making I hope you have fun watching that's what's all about isn't it? having fun looks can buy and see you next time